Hi guys, it's Miss Hazel and in today's video you are going to be learning how to make a tennis ball monster. So this is my tennis ball monster. When you squeeze its cheeks, its mouth opens just like that and you can do so many activities with it. It helps with your hand strength, it helps with your bilateral coordination, it helps with your in-hand manipulation, so many um, activities you can do with it. So in today's video, we're going to be learning about how to make a tennis ball monster, what items you need and also what activities you can do with it. So let's get right into it. Just a disclaimer, you will need an adult for this activity, so if you want, ask someone or an adult in your family to help you. So the items you will need are a tennis ball, a craft knife or a box cutter, some googly eyes, and um, a glue gun or you can use super glue. In this step, you need the tennis ball and the knife, so you need to be super, super careful with it, and we are going to cut a slit in it to make the mouth. So let's poke a hole, be careful, this part is a bit tricky, and once we've made the slit, you just cut, 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 and depending on how hard you want it to be um, when you open its mouth, you make it shorter, so it's really, really hard to open its mouth, or you can make it longer to make it easier to open its mouth. So I want this one to be a little bit easier. Let's squeeze, or oh, maybe a little bit longer. Oof. That's a bit tricky. Okay, that's step number one. We get our googly eyes ready, place them upside down. Oops. And then we see where we want to put the eyes. So I'm gonna put them right here. Put it a little bit and work quickly. One, ooh. <laughs> And where's the other one? And two, work quickly. And there we have it. We have our tennis ball monster nice and ready. We'll give it a few seconds and then we can start playing. If you have counters or beads, you can do this activity or anything you have. You can even do it with pom-poms, anything you have in the home. So I'm going to put out four, one, two, three, four. And this is called pinch and hide. Watch, pinch, hide, pinch. Hide, pinch, hide, pinch, hide. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze the tennis ball monster's mouth and I'm going to slide it to my pinching fingers and feed it. Slide, feed, slide, feed, slide, feed. The next activity, you can um, pretend that the tennis ball monster is Pac-Man and put some things in a row and we can eat it up. Ready? Oh. Um, um, um. Um. Oh, that one didn't go in. Let's try again. Um. We'll push it in. Um. Mm, delicious. Lucky last. Um. And there you have it. Another activity you can do is decorate the tennis ball monster with um, rubber bands. And these are really good to strengthen hands. So we put all our finger pads together, put the rubber band around it, stretch. And we wrap our tennis ball monster just like a mummy. Let's try that again. Put all our finger pads together, wrap it around, stretch, and wrap it until we cover all of the tennis ball monsters. Stretch. And then when we're finished, we can take them off. And lucky last activity you can do is um, learn about letter recognition and you can learn its spelling as well. So I'm going to do Hazel because my name is Miss Hazel and I will sound out the letters as I put it into the tennis ball monster's mouth. Her. A. Z. E. And ooh, it's just going to fit. <laughs> So, so that wraps up today's video and I hope you have fun with your new tennis ball monster and I'll see you guys next week.